Hello, FG. Hello. How are you, Els? I'm good. You nice to be here. are here today, I and am. I wore this top just for you. <laughs> yeah. It's my Man City top. Because you're a massive City fan, Els. I am a massive City I really fan. like that, by the way. It's cool. Thank you. So we work together now we do. at City. Yeah. When did you start? I feel like, well, I started like last year. So did I, but I started in December. I feel like the IRL stuff has only just come about recently. Oh, okay. I think it was the first one we did together was what, West Ham, right? Where yeah, you're West Ham when I, about the FPL. I asked me for my prediction. And, and you were like, oh, I'm terrible, I've never done it. And you're actually really good <laughs> no, and you're quite high up in I've board. fallen off now completely because Nadam's fully in my head. So <laughs> I triple captain Harlan, he scored once, it's over. Yeah, well, yeah. I, well, for those who don't know, we have um, like, like a joint FPL league yeah. between everyone that works at Man City. And it's my first year doing it. I'm doing okay. But you know when some people just, I just, I don't understand how you can be that good. Steven's like a joke. Yeah, how does like, he know who to pick? This guy is just pick? ridiculous. Like he's getting like every week, he's getting the most points I've seen from everyone. I know, it's but just... it's like I still have Trent and Salah in my yes, team, I, yeah. and I'm just like I don't want them in there. But I know as soon as I remove them, they're, they're going to get score. really good. Well, Salah scored a hat trick last night, so now I'm thinking he's playing against City on Sunday. We always lose at Anfield. Maybe this. We is didn't know last point. year. We got two all. Yeah, but we've never won, have we? I've never seen us win there. Well, it could be a good time. We got Haaland now. Yeah, so true, true. And he's not played midweek. So. All I remember from that game, the two all last year at Anfield, was Rodri did an amazing block. Yeah, I remember. Do you remember that? He just yeah, it yeah, was yeah. at goal and he just put his foot out and it for, blocked for it. For Fabinho, right? I actually yeah. remember it. Yeah. Sick. I love Rodri. What a guy. I know. So this ho- this whole podcast is going to be about yeah, City. just about City. Yeah. Just as a uh, really like City. We did a, actually a photography challenge. So. City challenged us to learn how to be pro sports mm-hmm. photographers. And we went head to head, see who could get the best photo. I knew you were going to mention this. I just, you know, I have to because <laughs> I do very badly at most things in life. But for some reason, nope. that day, I flourished. I also do very badly at most things in life. Um, yeah. And I still did very badly. <laughs> you got like a viral shot. Yeah, and they're, they're holding it hostage put it on as like, well. Put it on Gundogan. Gundogan put it on his Instagram and stuff, you know. Like, I think that was actual Tom's one, though. No, no, no. It was definitely yours. Mm. It was that was unbelievable. And you bread. got one of Harlan, like walking. So yeah, so I got yeah. the blue. Co- you, I don't know where you were because we split off. Oh, I couldn't get in. Yeah, we and just... we were like, okay, we'll split off. <laughs> You'll do the fans in the, the tunnel, fans in the and I'll do up, fans yeah. outside, and mm. then we'll meet up at the blue carpet, which at City is when all the players arrive. Walk they do in. a big walk in off the the coach. And I was there and I got a really sick shot of Harlan's one. first blue carpet. <laughs> yeah. And I don't and know where you were. So. I was stuck outside. We couldn't get in. The security didn't believe that we had a pass to go in. Oh, no. Was just stood there, started taking pictures of fans and stuff. And they were all awful photos. So. Love that. And then I was in the dugout for the first half where there were three goals. <laughs> yeah. I got Gundogan's goal. And then you were second half. You did get a Harlan goal. I got, no, I think it was an Alvarez own goal I got with the ball like oh. hitting the net, but... Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was about it. But it was fun, but it makes you realise how difficult oh that my job God, actually is. The camera is. was so heavy. So heavy and like the whole focus point. Did you, were you there for the walkout at the beginning of the game? No, 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 no. That was you, yeah. Right, that was like sensory overload. Like, there was so <laughs> much going on. I was trying to focus because all the players are coming out. Then there's like fireworks going but off because like it's the first game. there's like 500 photographers in front of you as well. Like, yeah, and then I got sprayed the by the water <laughs> the, yeah. the pitch. And then I was like, thought Pep had come out, but I couldn't even see on my thing. So I'm taking pictures of someone that is not Pep. <laughs> and I'm like, it's Pep. And then Daryl from City is like, it's not Pep. And I was like, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start again. Yeah, I got a good picture of Daryl at the start, I think, when we were doing our intros. But other than yeah. that, didn't really get anything. I mean, Being a photographer is not for me. It was a great time. Yeah, shout out to Tom time. as well. What a guy. So you, before City anyway, we still do stream. Yeah. So you're on stream. I joined your stream actually a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, I thought it was a fake You imposter. didn't believe it was me. I was like, there's no way else that's actually you. It's like, <laughs> L's, no you're literally Els the Witch. Yeah. And you were like, it's not you. And I was like, yeah. it's And then I clicked me. it, saw your streams. I was like, oh yeah, it is you. <laughs> it's yeah. actually me. Um, so how did you how did you start streaming? Then? Lockdown. Just like literally lockdown. I just sat at home, was bored. Had a fashion brand, was in London, didn't really work out because of obviously the supply chain and stuff. Yeah. Went home, like to my mate, so I'm just gonna stream FIFA for a bit. Did you was, did you play FIFA before that? Uh, yeah, I play. I opened packs and did everything I do now, like off yeah. stream since I was a kid. But it was me, myself as a fake viewer on Twitch. Don't know if I'm allowed to actually say that anymore, but <laughs> we've, we've gone past that now. And then it was like my mate, and it was like for three months, it was like three of us just vibing. Aww. It was fun. It was really fun. I didn't think anything of it, and then. Yeah things just changed really really how did what was the moment then that it kind of just i couldn't tell you you know obviously like with twitch if you get raided so i got raided by frog haber raided me a couple of times and then i was like 
oh, I've actually got like 10 viewers now. Yeah. I've got like seven more viewers. And then, I've, then it went to like 20, 30, and then slowly, slowly. And literally, I never thought, if, until it got to the end of lockdown, I didn't think, oh, this could be like a job for me. I didn't think it. Got no like way. a sponsorship from Sneak, which was sick. Yeah. And then City sent me a shirt, which said Foot FG on it, which was my old name. And it was just like, wow, this could actually be something, but still can't believe I'm doing it. It's crazy because it's not even been yeah. that long. It's mental. And now you're presenting at City. Yeah. So you host, you're doing the FPL show. Yeah, yeah. And FPL you're really City. good at presenting. Like you seem I've really never, calm, natural. I just like to have fun. Do you know what I mean? Like I think it's similar to me and you when we were doing that photography thing. We, we don't take things seriously. Yeah, no. Like I'll never take anything seriously. I can't. <laughs> like if you ask me to take something seriously, I just burst out laughing. Yeah. So they put me in for like Bayern Munich, which was the first one. Oh, the, was it Match Day Live? At like did? midnight, by the way. So I found out like the night before from Ollie. He was like, oh, they've, they've had someone who can't do it. Can you do it? And I was like, yeah, I'll do it check the fixtures and it was like midnight kickoff and I was like it starts was at that midnight. Was that with American? And it was it, not realising that wasn't it was there America. a thunderstorm or something yeah, so it got yeah. postponed. The like... game got postponed. Obviously I was in the studio with with Sean Goat who absolutely carried me. I think it was Nadam as well and it was just such a mad experience for me. Having someone Crazy. in my ear for the first time. Yeah. Kimber's it's a just lot. amazing though. She's so so cool mm -hmm. as you know like but it was it was mad. I still can't believe it happened. Well, you're doing well, so. Thank you, yeah, so are you. That's my thing is always in life, just do things that make you nervous or yeah. like uncomfortable because you always get good things that come from it. Yeah, people say like, oh, you seem well relaxed and stuff. I remember the first FBL show, my right leg was like that. And I was like trying to stand <laughs> up and I was like, and like even Nadam and Sean off camera like, are you shaking? I was like, no, mate. no, no, no. But <laughs> That's I was. the wrong people to say. Yeah, yeah, to because well, they, they, they like the what people don't realize is off camera, like they are so, so nice as well. Yeah. How they are, but they love to give it out to you. And he's like, he's shaking him and stuff like that. So, <laughs> but yeah, everyone at City is great though. Yeah. Like, they're probably the best people I've worked with, obviously because it's our club, but mm -hmm. also because of how nice they all are. It's crazy you've gone literally from starting just streaming in lockdown because my one of my friends actually has just started twitch and she's like yeah i've just got two she's like i've only got two viewers like every time and i'm like yeah. just keep doing it you have to keep i was gonna quit at one point like was you i got to like 20 viewers i was like mm. and i was going in streams and i was like you know you know what it's like with twitch when you've got lower viewers you get more abuse because yeah. said because you're guaranteed to get a response I just get abuse right? anyways. yeah of course <laughs> but like we all get abused but like you get more abuse when you've got that and it hurts you more yeah. because you read every comment. And that was like one stream. I was like, said to my mate, oh, Joe, I was like, I'm done, mate. I've got to stop. I can't bother. He's like, no, you can't. Said to Keep my mate. Keep doing it. Said to my mate, kept doing it. And then just, you just never know, do you? You have to, you, that, and that's what I think is people assume that it happens overnight. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time. And it doesn't. It's There's so much groundwork. And I always feel like, even when I first started YouTube, the first three or so months when you're putting so much effort into yeah. it and literally no Getting one's seeing it. it yeah. You have to break through that because then you get to where you want to be. And I think people just expect things to fly straight away. And it probably does happen like one in every hundred people or more, but it's like, you just have to go, get, go through it. And you have to go through the, the process of being like, I'm going <laughs> to quit because yeah, this is not working suffer, like, and break 100%. through that. And then you get to it. I feel like, yeah, even now to this day, I still think like, I'm not really sure at the moment it happened because that part did happen quite quick where, mm. you know, when it got to the end of lockdown, I was like, wow, I could actually do this full time. But during lockdown, it was just sort of, I was doing it for solely enjoyment purposes. Yeah. And I still do like, if I don't enjoy it, I can't sit on stream and just, Oh, just laugh and it's the worst yeah yeah 100 percent. so if you enjoy it just keep doing it i made 35 dollars in four months on twitch when i first started love that and it was it was the best time of my life because i was vibing <laughs> yeah. during lockdown obviously lockdown helped though yeah yeah just make sure you enjoy it work hard and yeah and then you get work. cool opportunities you get like it all pays off in the end right i wanted to talk to you because Obviously, you play FIFA and you open packs a lot. Yeah. And I showed you this when I saw you a few weeks ago, but Pieface was reacting <laughs> to the new celebrations in FIFA for some of the players yeah. when they open. What is going on? Because I don't understand some of these dance moves. It's unbelievable, the one with the, he, was reacting so to, he was reacting to Ruben Diaz yeah. and he's just like, he looks like he's, he's been on a three-day three bender. bender. Yeah, Pi is just, <laughs> what a, like, what a guy he is. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. Like, so nice. But he is hilarious. And I don't think he actually means to me. <laughs> but yeah, these celebrations are just 
they, they baffle me. Like, I think Harry Kane was doing the worm and I was like... Yeah, and this, the fact that I'm trying to imagine, like, the player actually doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And imagine can't. being the player and seeing yourself walk out and doing that. You'd be like, <laughs> imagine Ruben Diaz. You filmed with Ruben Diaz, right? <laughs> imagine him seeing that. He'd be like, pardon. He already wasn't... He's going to be so offended. Yeah, he already wasn't happy when, when you did that video with him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's great market. Do you it? reckon they're just like... Trying to put more fun into the game. Yeah, like FIFA, I quite like it. Maybe it's, it's yeah, perked my interest. It gives us something so. to speak about as well. FIFA is something to enjoy. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong, it's probably not the same as back in there when I used to watch it. When I used to watch like the side men on, like everyone just throwing like wrote ashore throwing chairs and stuff. <laughs> like the proper OG times, but it's still got to be enjoyment. Like mm -hmm. the kids that are playing, they're not our age. They're a lot like younger now, and they're a lot more. It's all about fun, and hopefully, the more we can have fun with yeah. it, the better. Because there's nothing worse. Than I like annoyed. that they've done that because I think with esports being so popular and like loads of kids wanting to pursue esports as a career, yeah. it's become quite serious. I think it's like you've got to practice and do all this stuff and then get signed by a team and stuff. But like having the fun elements and yeah. the pack opening, you've got to have fun. Stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. If I don't have fun, I don't play it. Like yeah. And but thankfully with me, I just like. Are you good at it or? Uh, yeah. I mean, I <laughs> witnessed. Right. Well, you're asking me this question. <laughs> no, you're about to say, well, you're my not only time I've seen yeah. you. And you did beat one of the esports guys. I think it was 4 0 or something, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. But Phil Foden walks up because you mm. were handing out their copies yeah. and you didn't even get a touch on the ball. <laughs> he he took the ball. He's beaten me in foot champs before. Well, he was seen very good. So he during... passed to himself, scored, dropped the dropped the controller and walked yeah, off. Yeah, he just walked off. He knew it was going to happen. He beat me in foot champs. When I say beat me, embarrassed me for 20 minutes straight, danced on me every single time. I saw him and I told him that has happened. He was like, all right, let's go again. He <laughs> obviously plays a lot of FIFA. His brain is a lot sharper in terms of football. Yeah, he's cracked. Like there is some people like Ryan and Shells at City, when I see them play, mm. like how are you this good at this game? But I well, that's their myself. career though. Still Shells, rate myself a little bit. Shells like, beat me 8-0, I think. Yeah. And at one point I tried to score an own goal. I think he beat me 10-0, so you must mm. be better than me. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I mean, it's about enjoyment and I'm all right ish. I bet you're good. You've just been humble. So I have a quiz then. A, a quiz. FIFA quiz. Oh, wow. Okay. See I didn't how know about well this. All right. You okay. Know FIFA. Let's go. It's like a mixture of questions that I've retrieved from various sites. So the first one is Who joined Wayne Rooney on the cover of FIFA 6? FIFA 06. Are you going to give me options or not? No. What? So it's not like multiple choice? This was actually an iconic cover, I think. FIFA 06. I know this because we <clears throat> filmed about FIFA 06 like last week. Oh, well, you should know. But it, I don't though. actually know it. So give me a clue. The really good footballer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wayne Very Rooney. Very skillful. Ronaldo. No. It's 06. FIFA 06. I don't actually know. Um, Not from the UK. They're not from the UK. No. Think global superstar from back in the day. Is it Brazilian? Yes. I feel like does his name begin with the letter R mm -hmm. and end in Enio? Yeah. Ronaldinho, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to you say that. That's how you get round the question, yeah. by the way. That's good. Ah, Enio. <laughs> yeah. Ronaldinho. So you got a point. That's, we'll take it. I Cheated our way to a point. To you. Yeah. It's supposed to start off easy, by the way. I feel like that one was I think it's <laughs> well quite done. an iconic FIFA cover. Okay, next one is which release of EA's FIFA had the tagline this is the season? FIFA 12? No. 10? <laughs> no. 11? It was FIFA 7. FIFA 7? FIFA 07, yeah. Oh wow. Well. Okay. This well. is the season. Okay, which FIFA release had the title song Nothing to Worry About by Peter Bjorn? You're mocking it with this. <laughs> FIFA 8. No. I, well, I thought it'd be like oh, 6, 7. FIFA 10. Yeah, I said FIFA 10, yeah. Okay. That one was actually probably one of the hardest questions. <laughs> Who's on the cover of FIFA 13? There's three people. One of them was a City player. A City player at that time? Yeah. I don't yeah. actually know this. I le legit don't know this. So just give me three names. If Just guess three footballers from... Around a Man City player in FIFA 13. I'm sure he was still there at this point. Was he a City player? I'm not sure. Go on, hit me with it. Messi. Yeah. Joe Hart. Yeah, was Joe Hart a City? He's a goalie. He been, yeah. He's the goalie. Yeah, he yeah. must be. Who was he? What? So you're making me think. And Alex. You're doubting Oxlade yourself. Chamberlain. No, it's he played for City. Joe Hart. 
No idea. Thing is, when we get covers, <clears throat> I don't actually look at the cover because we just get that. Who's on the cover this year? Mbappe. Well, that wasn't a question, but... It's a point. It's not a point. That wasn't <laughs> even part of my quiz, actually. Okay, who... What release of FIFA first included a classic 11 team of great footballing legends? It was f FIFA 12? 14? No. Higher or lower? <laughs> lower. Lower? FIFA 6. Oh, FIFA 06. Miles off. You're I was 12 years bad. of age. I know, but I thought you said you did something on FIFA yeah, 06. Open packs. Right. So you could have got a legend <laughs> in that one. Uh, which... Oh, which release of FIFA featured Wayne Rooney and Ronaldinho on the cover for the third consecutive year? Eight. So if you do your... Yes, there you go. If you did, did your maths, maths there. Yeah, that's exactly yes, what I did. Do your maths. Yeah. Okay, um, in what year was FIFA Street first released? Eight? No. <laughs> Ten? No. Six? No. Seven? No. Twelve? No. Fifteen? No. <laughs> Go on, you tell me. <laughs> it was in 2005. Oh, I said six. Who was on the cover for an extra point that you might need? Ronaldinho. There you go. Thank you. You got I remember, a point. I remember the few. How many points am I on now? Three. There's no like whiteboard here with like no, scores. So I think we'll it's two or three. Three. Well, I'll give you three. <laughs> Which FIFA release featured a new game mode called Beat a Pro? That was recent. That was like, that was like 12. No, it was FIFA 8. <laughs> okay. eight. Um, what is the best FIFA, selling FIFA game to date? Ooh. Mm. I don't know, you know, because EA are a bit, Ultimate Team's grown a lot. It has. I don't think it'll be this one though. <clears throat> What's well, only just come out, so probably not. FIFA 20? No. 21? No. Am I thinking like well before? FIFA 18. Okay, yeah. That was Which a, I think people... That was an okay FIFA. Uh, so it sold 26.4 million copies. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. Crazy, I know. It's like... Um, okay, which release of FIFA was the debut version... Wait, sorry. What release of FIFA was the debut version for the Wii? Nintendo Wii. Nintendo so, Wii FIFA. Yeah. Think about the time period that I'm the Wii was out. I'm trying to think of when the Wii came out. I reckon it was FIFA 12? No, FIFA uh, 8. FIFA 8, yeah, it's close. <laughs> it's only four years out every right, time. Right, well, we're ending the quiz and you scored three points. That, we'll take it. How many was that out of? I don't even know. I, I cut half the questions because like, you're just <laughs> not doing well. Yeah, the quiz was great. So aside from FIFA then, obviously, we know you love FIFA. Yeah. If you could pick three games that were your favourite of all time, yeah. what would you pick? Um, it'd be Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops. Okay. I used to I used to play a lot of Need for Speed. I love a Need lot. for Speed. And of course, Grand Theft Auto, but it was San Andreas. San Andreas. Because I absolutely... That's one of my favourite games. That was. Well. I can't wait for a new GTA to come out. I don't know if it'll ever happen. It it's is, been, FIFA, um, yeah. FIFA, sorry. GTA 6 is coming out but it's soon. Been, we've been talking about it for years and it but got they leaked. leaked and like, then you say, oh, because it's been leaked, it won't happen. And it'll definitely come out. I cannot wait. I feel like that'll be just I'm ready. ridiculous. That will kill off every game for such a while because yeah. everyone will play sorry, it. Sorry, I won't be playing it. Yeah, it was. but I also like to play GTA RP as well. Oh, I still want to get into this. I Which talk about is, it all the time. It's honestly amazing, especially with Twitch <clears throat> on stream, and stuff. Yeah. It's so fun. I want to be accepted into a server. Yeah. Well, you can get in. I'm sure you can just go into 5M and just apply for whichever and go in with your friends. But yeah, just people to... take it like real life. Yeah, I need to think of a role. Like, but it's a bit mad be. because I get offended for my character. What? Are you, what's your role? Well, I'm called FG, but I'm a gangster, but with no money. So oh, I rob no. people. So I try rob and rob people. people. I get arrested a lot get killed forget mm. about it and go again but it's fun i like that i just like the whole <laughs> acting part of it's it. it's crazy really... some people literally stick so much to their roles it's yeah well like isn't that like the police officers take it very seriously yeah <laughs> yeah like proper and they'll kick you out of the server if you're not yeah the admin i've been kicked out of a couple when i first started because i got a gun it takes a while for you to get a gun and then you just obviously test do you know the people in your server then or is it um normally i go with a couple of streamers that i know Okay. But so if I've been going to a random server, it's a bit too much because no one's backing you up. Yeah. What um, if you haven't played in the server for ages? Do they kick you out? No, no, no. no. Okay. I've, you can just join back, but <clears throat> things change really quick. So one uh, of the guys that you were like hanging about with could be like in the police and you'd be like, mate, what? He's like, yeah, you left me and, yeah. and all this. So yeah, it's really, really good. You should definitely try I it. I love that. Okay, I'm definitely going to try it. I, I, I think I'd be really good on role play. 
Yeah, because I, like I, I would take it serious. People like you. You think you're gonna take it serious, but people take it <laughs> serious. Is it like different. their whole life? Oh, it's different. It's good though. It's really, really good. Like if you go into like a proper, proper server, yeah, like no pixels and stuff. That is like ridiculous. Like okay. that is your life, twelve hours a day. I'm gonna do it. I say this all the time, and then I don't. You definitely end up doing should. It. Right, so we're gonna go through like your first memories of gaming. Because when I was trying to think of what we would talk about, like I was all I was thinking about was like my first ever console and things like that. So, what was the first console that you got? Uh, the PlayStation. Which PlayStation? One. Same. No, no. I the first one I played oh. was the Sega Mega Drive. The first yeah, one yeah, I yeah, owned yeah. was the PlayStation the One. PlayStation, but I also had like a <clears throat> PSP as well. Um, oh my PSP. god, I never had a PSP. PSP was incredible. Like, I would literally, you could play FIFA. I remember when it came out on FIFA and City had like Giovanni and stuff. And I was oh like, gosh, yeah. it was amazing. We had the purple kit and it was just. I think just, the PSP was way ahead of its time. I was so addicted to it, but it, yeah. And then it broke and I was heartbroken. Do you have the little it discs was, as well? The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So it cute. was, I'd love them to rebring that back and it'd be like, yeah. a, it'd be a lot more advanced now. But that was like, I was hooked though. Like, I was, I would come home from school and just game and game and game never do my homework never do <laughs> like all these kids were on msn and stuff i was playing i was playing fifa like <laughs> playing dead. need for speed or something but i need yeah i i sometimes intend you know when you walk past those like cex stores yeah yeah how do you yeah. pronounce it is it sex or sex c cex oh it might be sex actually I'm not well sure. i would always say sex but i just call it cex cex yeah I'm always tempted to go and buy a PSP. They're pretty expensive now, you know. Yeah, well, they're like, like gold dust. Yeah, they're so good. But they're, they're actually... Re so the, this one Final Fantasy VII game that they released on the PSP, yeah. I never got to play it because I never had a PSP. But they just announced they're remastering it and putting it on PS5. Oh, wow. So I finally get to play it. Yeah, guessed. PSP hits different though. I know. I wish they'd like bring that out again, but obviously they make so much money from the PS5. But... Was the first game then you can remember having? Oh, you know what's mad... <laughs> This is gonna sound mental, but I used to play it on the on the PC. It wasn't really a game, but it's called Line Rider. I don't know if you remember it in school. No. You could you could <laughs> he's, he's saying yeah, Line what Rider. What is Line Rider? Oh, it was insane. Literally, you had your mouse. Did you draw a line? You draw a line and it's like a roller coaster. I remember that. And I would do that for hours and hours and hours until they banned it in my school. Did they ban it? They yeah, banned copter in my school. Do you, remember, do you remember copter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just yeah. click the mouse. I would play Line Rider all the time and I'd be I doing all different line types Rider. of stuff and like that was like that was like an addiction yeah like i would literally go to school and when we were on the pcs i would make sure whenever it's lunchtime break i would go straight there and i'd be stuck there we've got it i'm there before that's the only lesson i'm there early no to way. that was like then there was like i don't know if like the ogs will remember like jumpers for goalposts on pc that no, was i don't remember but I, I think i remember watching people. and there was also frogger Frogger. Frogger was sick. Like, I used to play Frogger on the PC and a flight simulator. Yeah, a flight as well. simulator as well. Like they were the games that we would we would all play. Yeah. But yeah, like growing up as as a kid, we'd do we'd do that a lot. And then, but there was mad stuff when you were. I had Age of Empires as well on the yeah, PC. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. There was like Farmville as well. That wasn't too long ago, though. I don't think. I'm Farmville's on Facebook. Well, but, wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> that was <laughs> on, Facebook, on Facebook. Yeah. And my friend, I was really annoyed because yeah. pineapples were like the ultimate thing that you could grow. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. my friend, because because we, I went to boarding school. She was so rich and she bought it, didn't she? She was a no. She was the day people, right? So we only had specific times we could go on the computers. Yeah. So she used to go home really level herself up on Farmville and I was fuming because she got the pineapples and I couldn't get the pineapples because I didn't have enough time. Farmville was insane. It was yeah, so, Yeah, Farmville so was sick. Um, do you remember stick cricket as well? Yeah, stick cricket, <laughs> stick yeah. Cricket. You know what? I tried to play that recently. Did you? Like, lasso, it's so hard. Do they not have it's it? A, is it is it's, it's a lot more not, modernized now. Uh, like, it's proper like T20 and... I feel like sometimes just keep it how it was. Yeah, like, honestly, I can't believe you don't know what Lime Rider is. I'm pretty sure... No, I know what it is now that you said it because I watched yeah, people play it. That is addictive that was so fun we used to, yeah they banned it in my school though so line rider what was the one uh you know on the pc like the standard you have solitaire yeah, yeah and you yeah. had the thing where you press the things and the bombs come up there's the yeah, little squares yeah. what, what was, was that <gasps> oh. i remember that and you had the that. you had the numbers i never knew what they meant what so i just called? used to click i should have really I, want, I really want to say minecraft and i know it's not no no but... no it, um <clears throat> does anyone know i can't actually no. know oh it's gonna bother me but yeah, my first proper like PlayStation game though, I think was Tomb Raider 2 and yeah. Final Fantasy 7. Those were the two. Final, I didn't know they were re bringing Final Fantasy out. But they remade Final Fantasy yeah. 7, the remake, and now they're doing Crisis Core, which was like another. Gaming's changed a lot now. Like I feel like games like Fall Guys would have been us on <clears> PC. 
I think if we were in school, yeah. we would be playing <gasps> Fortnite. Did you see that they're doing a VR Among yeah. Us? Yeah, in November. Yeah. And I seen um, Chip oh Fat, who's gosh. the editor for Sidemen. He was like tweeting the Sidemen like, oh my God, this is going to be it's sick. It's going to be ridiculous. That's going to be so fun. I would love to play have you that. Done, have you ever done virtual reality? Like, have you got one of those Yeah, so I've, and... I've got uh, the Oculus. So I played, yeah. I did the bowling. I got yeah. really into it. I made a friend and I'm like really awkward. So <laughs> that was just waving to some random person. And I got scared. So I just backed so up. Backed out and I've been in the cinema with people like watching Nickelodeon and stuff and i was just chucking popcorn at it's people mental, yeah. it's crazy but it's so hard to explain because it's really sick because have you done the 360 youtube videos yeah, as well? yeah, yeah, yeah and i'm like in a hot air balloon and stuff and it's like you want to tell everyone about it because you're you like this just... is insane but you can't they just need to experience it for themselves yeah it's incredible if you get the chance i did that a horror game would be super fun I did the some, I can't remember what it's called, but I did it for a YouTube video. Yeah. And genuinely, I don't get scared that easily. I don't do horror stuff. I literally opened a door. So we're going through some basement, right? And there's whispering going on years. I opened this door and there's some girl and her neck's like that. And she's like, <laughs> and I literally like was shaking. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I don't do horror stuff for that reason. I just do <clears> not I quite like it. it. No, I'm not a chance. I did Beat Saber. I've never sweated yeah, so much. Yeah. I did this, someone was like, do this crab level, <laughs> this crab song. And I was there literally like, ch -ch 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 -ch, sweating, literal drips of sweat. The boxing's good on it as well, actually. Oh, I be oh here we go. I but beat Chris Eubank Jr. on boxing. What? It was for a video and we played each other and I beat him. <laughs> I think he was fuming. You beat him like actual- Legit Chris Eubank Jr. He must have, that, yeah, that's but he was on the he was on an Oculus and I was on one and I beat him. Oh, he would and I've never boxed before in my life. Yeah, that would have made you feel like amazing Human. to beat him. Yeah, it was great. Well, that's a win. That's a loss for him. So I know I've won something <laughs> in my life. Okay, what was the first game that you bought with your own money? Because I remember I used to do like chores. I clean the car and it was mow FIFA. the lawn. Was it FIFA? Yeah, and I went home and I simmed career mode like because that's what you used to do. Like sat there. I was at my granddad's house actually. I took my PlayStation with me. And I, yeah, I was, I think I, what, what did I do? I think I did like the dishwasher and stuff for the week. Yeah, like, to, so I would do like clean the car, money. mow the yeah, lawn. Yeah, I did like loads of household chores. So just work out like then, 15 pounds. I was buzzing. Like I remember when I had it, I was simming career mode and everything. I mean, you felt like a cool kid in school as well, yeah. wouldn't you? You bought FIFA and stuff and it makes you think that's what the kids of today are probably like. Yeah, but now, because I remember I used to do it, but I used to do it for Sims expansion yeah, yeah, packs. Yeah. They'd be like £15 each. And now games are like 40, they no, 70 quid. FIFA's like nearly 100 quid. It's Crazy. Ridiculous. Call of Duty's the same, right? But I guess because with online, you play it more. Yeah. So you're going to play it for the whole year. Whereas back in the day, if you got a game and you completed it, that would kind of be it unless you wanted to go back and start over. I feel like Fortnite did it right by giving it away for free because everyone yeah, played it. Yeah, you the add-ons. Because like, I've just started playing Fortnite recently. Have you really? <laughs> for the first time. It's really fun, isn't it? Like, it's yeah. so fun. And I understand why people would then spend money to get skins. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm yeah. there thinking, I got the battle pass. So I, within a few days, I'd been roped in. I was like, yeah. I'm going to buy the battle pass. But I'm just getting jealous of everyone's skins. And I'm like, yeah. I need the emotes and the skins. But something in me is like, don't spend the money. Well, I'm like bad for spending money on games. Like I, spent, I was on the flight from Denmark and I got to the airport and I couldn't complete this level of Candy Crush. So I spent 20 quid on Candy Crush. Wait, you paid to move yeah, past the level? Yeah, because you get like loads of little add-ons and stuff. Oh no. And I'm still not <laughs> managed to do it. But. I do that, I get roped I in. also like cheat as well. If I run out of lives, I change the date and time on my phone and yeah, get my lives together, just go again. You. <laughs> you didn't even realize that could happen, but yeah, that is a thing. I never knew that. Yeah. It's a new, a new tactic. Okay, the first game that you completed? Uh, well, story mode in GTA probably, like properly religiously. Yeah. Um, That was just, that is the thing that I'll always do on GTA. I feel like they're getting harder and harder as well. Yeah, but there was a few missions on San Andreas. Yeah. Do you remember the helicopter one? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. where you're on the remote control helicopter. But like, did you, you know when you complete, have you, I imagine you've completed GTA as well, right? Yeah. Did you cheat? Yeah, San Andreas. But then when, you know, when the remake came out last year, yeah. I haven't cheated yet because I've if you on cheat, every single GTA. there's some things you can't achieve within the yeah, game. But yeah, you can't get the 100%. But, but yeah, back in the day, I always cheated. I've completed, but yeah, I cheated. And I had yeah. the best guns and it was just amazing. I'm one of those people. So I used, I've completed like Tomb Raiders and stuff, but I like to get everything in the game. Yeah. So I would print out walkthroughs. So I get them on the internet and print them out. And yeah. I would, I just so I know that I'm like, okay, turn left here and you're going to get the secret thing. I like following instructions and it kind of takes away the fun of the game. It depends a bit. on like what your definition of completing <clears throat> is. Cause I did complete like FIFA career mode. Oh in, yeah. Like a day from simming, but I did nothing apart from simming. I went to like the last, last season and the players were just 
mad and all like boosted but yeah gta was i think maybe silent hill might have been my first game yeah. that i completed and it's always that like you work your way up to it and you're like really excited to finish the game and, just like, and then oh. when the credits come up you feel sad and i'm like oh i've done it now fifa well, tried to like bring out the journey i don't even remember it with yeah Alex i remember the journey yeah it's a bit disappointed with that because you complete it after a season and the next one came out and then they just stopped it <clears throat> That yeah, because on happened. NBA 2K, they have a whole storyline. Yeah. It's so sick. And they get, they'll get collaborate with, like, LeBron James did the story mode from a few years ago. I am ago. so bad at that game. Like I, have I used to be good, and I tried it the other day, and I've completely forgotten it's so everything. Hard. Like, it is so, so hard, but, yeah, it's super fun. Yeah. Okay, next one is the first game that you rage quit on. Oh, take your pick. I rage quit on Line Rider, mate, in school. <laughs> like, I was furious that my mate Piers, PK would sit next to me and just roast me and then I'd just quit. So Frogger as well. Yeah, Frogger was. Get hit was, by a car. Get hit by off. the car. Or you get past the cars and you fall <laughs> in the water off a log. <laughs> yeah, the kids are like, look, jumpers for goalposts. Mm. I don't think I ever raised it. No, I did. Yeah, I raised at everything. I, I like, raged at everything, to be honest with you. I remember losing a game of FIFA to my mate Harvey. He was LA Galaxy. I was Real Madrid. He was at his house and he still speaks about it to this day because I raged that much that I just went to bed. <laughs> and we were dead young and... Yeah, I rage bad. I can't help yeah, it. Yeah, same. I used to, when I was younger, I used to rage. Yeah. What's the worst thing you've done when you've rage quit? Oh, I broke my TV, like thrown it, smashed the it. The actual TV? Like the 50 inch TV I had, yeah. And at that time it was like, my mum was furious. Oh, no. Like, yeah. Thrown that. Um, I think I'd thrown a controller at Harvey's TV. <clears> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I got angry a bit, but. Yeah, I, I get angry. I don't. I, I used to have a stress ball. I think my mum even got me a stress ball at one point, so I could like. I used to bite it. I yeah. used to, would help. I used to. Like, I used I to know. like hit the sofa and stuff. Yeah, right. done that. Oh no, I just scream into a pillow. That was my stand on my pillow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it it's making me stressed back. thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because there was this one particular boss in Final Fantasy, and honestly. It had some scissor hands. It was like this, and it was so hard to beat. And there was one in Spyro as well. There was one level in Spyro that I could never complete. There's like, the worst part is that when you're raging against the computer, mm. especially with FIFA. Oh yeah, I did that. I was playing career mode, and like I remember, and Penza, he used to play for City, so I was doing my career mode, and he kept missing. Mm. And I remember how angry I was. I got grounded for like two weeks because I was screaming. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't supposed to be playing on my PlayStation at that time because oh it was like, but... Yeah, good times. <laughs> good, good times. The first game that you were gifted by a company. So. Oh, only recently it was FIFA. Really? What this FIFA? Uh, no, it what, was FIFA twenty two. FIFA twenty two. Yeah. How was it? Because my I remember my first gifting. It was like the best day nah, ever. Nah, that was so sick. Like I got it. I didn't expect it, and I was like telling all the mates, "Yo, I got FIFA for free," and I posted it everywhere. Like Aww. just unreal. It's such a mad feeling. Like it's crazy because I. I can't remember the first thing that I got gifted. Maybe The Sims or something like that. Yeah. And it's just like, it was amazing. And I remember my my favorite event that I've ever been to was The Sims. And they had this, it was island living. So it was all like Hawaiian and we made like yeah, cocktails yeah. and stuff. And I was literally like, this is literally the best thing of my life. 100%. Like when I was younger, I was so gassed to like go to a Sims event. And I, I remember thinking at the time, I was like, I wish this feeling would never disappear. And then now it has. And I'm just like, oh, I, I wish... Know. I feel like, for me, obviously, I'm. You've had a lot more probably gifts than me. That like, I still get gassed about it. I still can't believe that. Like, yeah. I've got the opportunity. I still get to... gassed, and then you have to try and think outside of it and think yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the sickest thing ever. But then now it's kind of like the novelty starts to wear off, of and course, I hate yeah. it. That's one thing I hate. I would. Ne I, I'm like still get so so gassed. Like, <laughs> I just still can't believe it when I get the game for free, and it's just just really really nice. But yeah, the company's been great though. Like two K, yeah. great. Obviously, EA are really good. Just sick. Like anything I get for free, I'm buzzing. Yeah. I've got so many free football shirts and stuff from like EA will send me shirts and stuff like that. And it's just Oh like, yeah, the well, FIFA I like them ones, the foot yeah, ones. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Sick. I was the next one was the first time you broke a control pad, but we've covered that. Yeah. You threw it at T V. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, have you ever cancelled on a date or like doing something with friends to just stay home and game? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I think I do it most of the time. Yeah, like hundred percent. Like if I'm locked in so, for example, Ultimate Team now, I am locked in and my mates, we're going for like a Nando's or something. Like, oh, mate, sorry, I'm not going to make it. And the first time I'm on. Got too much on. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> it's normal. Everyone's done it. And I don't care what anyone says. Everyone has done it. I, I have actually cancelled <clears throat> once because ah, of Candy Crush. No, no, no cap, right? So, listen, it's not even funny. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was so close to like getting to like level 400 or something. 
and I was sat at home playing it and I you know when you're sat on your sofa and you've not moved and yeah. you just, I was supposed to be going to, to the gym I think and obviously I don't go to the gym anyway and I was like Pfft. The gym can wait because I'm going to play this. So that's. Why don't you just go to the gym, do your exercise, nah. and in between you got to be locked in. You got with crush. Candy Crush. You got to be locked in. Yeah, I remember my my Candy Crush over. phase was intense. Yeah. I still play it. You know, I play it. On I think my mum still plays it as well. Yeah, it's very like <laughs> mum game to play. Yeah. And that's Candy why I still Crush. Play it, yeah. Right. I have some questions about City now. This okay. is our segment where you can right, just reel okay. off so much stuff about Man City. Yeah. Who? What's your actual best memory as a City fan? Ah. Uh, well, obviously the first game, when I remember being so young, my dad taking me and just seeing the pitch. Was it a main road still? Yeah, it was main yeah. road and, and just seeing the pitch. We lost, but I saw the pitch and I remember that was unbelievable. But in terms of like modern memories, mm. obviously I was at the 6-1. I was there when we won the semi-final against United, the final at Stoke. I had so many in recent times. I never thought we'd be watching what we're doing. And then obviously working with the club's mad. Yeah. Ridiculous. That the game where we won recently. Yeah. Two nil down, three one three two. It just doesn't surprise me anymore. Like with City, as mad as it sounds, <clears throat> this team is ridiculous. Like this is everything. When we were growing up watching like Real Madrid, the Galacticos and stuff like that, yeah. this is City. Not at that level, of course, but the fact that we're winning every week, it feels like we're genuinely in that bracket yeah. of being a top club. It's mad. We just need the Champions League now. Yeah, soon, <laughs> one day. That was my worst <laughs> memory being at the final. Oh. I was sat in my seat for I think about half an hour like the steward was like you gotta go mate yeah I was at Box Park and I wore actually this t-shirt and I'd done like blue eyeliner <laughs> yeah. and I'm in London right I was genuinely the Chelsea. only City yeah. fans and that was just full of Chelsea oh. and I just kind of like put my jacket back on and I was like, that was a bad day we should have was... won that honestly but... yeah Brit no, that's pain okay favourite player that you've worked with at City Ooh, well past or present either or past is Nadem Nadem oh, I love Nadem. Nadem. He's I love so that nice. guy. Like he's so genuine. He's so nice. Obviously, I love Sean Go. I love Sean. Rapp. Sean Rapp was literally my hero growing up. Mm -hmm. But Nadem is just that guy. He is so so nice. Yeah. Probably guy. Um, current would probably be. I would say Grealish. And mine's Grealish. As he's well. a great guy, and he's just such a nice nice guy. And yeah. He's, just, he's funny. He's just just hilarious. So. Yeah. He's funny. Have you watched? Uh, so City have their champions again series yeah i've watched it have yeah. you watched the one where phil foden's son who is a prominent feature yeah. in the whole series yeah. i really like him and he's Ronnie. the physio and jack's like <laughs> we've got a new physio, a new physio. Yeah. i love so it they're cute. just so down to earth. everything you see on them documentaries like obviously people we're lucky enough to have access but they are genuinely like that in person yeah and it's it's mental like because you just they are, they are under so much pressure as well, but they are just literally so cool. So cool. Well, speaking of City players, we do this thing where we compare consoles to items. So would you like packets of crisps, drinks? We're going to do City players, okay? okay? Sounds good, yeah. They could be past or current, just any City player that you can think of. Right. So the first one we're going to do is the PSP, because you yeah. like the PSP. Yeah, the PSP is Kevin De Bruyne. Ahead of its time. Oh, Kevin. Silva. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne or David Silva, because that's just different. Like, mm. them two are just a joke. David Silva was the greatest, one of the greatest I'll ever see because he was just incredible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Kevin De Bruyne is just, he makes it look easy as well, so. His passing is just... I don't know how he does it. Like, I can't, there'll be moments in the game where he doesn't touch the ball for like a few minutes. You're like, oh, he's having a bad game and then you'll just, just be like, get an assist. The yeah. Villa game was prime example. Crazy. Okay, I like that. Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva. Right, let's do the Xbox 360. 360 was low key goated until you got the red light, right? So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, it's a good console. Mm, ah, I would probably say, I don't know if this is a bit harsh, but I'd probably say Michael Johnson. Okay. Because he was class. And then obviously his career just sort of disappeared. So it's like the Xbox 360 is <clears throat> unreal. And then you get the until red light. Until it went wrong. Yeah, then you get the red light. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I like that. <laughs> uh, the Game Boy Color. Ooh. Which was a great console. Yeah, it was good. Pokemon, back in the it day. It was really, really good. I feel like I've got to do a pass one for this. Okay. I feel like it's got to be like Richard Dunn. All right. Because you always use it. Like, you're always going to use it. Reliable. Then, uh, reliable. But sometimes it has its, you know, few issues and stuff. So I'd just say, yeah. It's like when you get the, the dust in the cartridge, you have to blow the cartridge <laughs> yeah. out to clean it and <laughs> just put it back yeah. in. And then when you do that, everything's fine again. Everything's so, fine. Yeah. Okay. Love that. Next one would be PlayStation 2, oh, which with. is my favorite console ever, I think. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Aguero. Aguero, maybe. No, it'd be, it'd be Aguero and company, yeah. 
Yeah, I was going to say company. Yeah, it'd be a Aguero and company because they're just so like reliable, so good. I had it for ages as well, and they yeah. were there for ages. So also a Kanji. Can we talk oh, about? He's wow. giving company. He like, is a genius and such a nice guy as well. Have you worked with him yet? Not yet, but he's incredible at maths, right? <laughs> a joke. Like I was asking him his FIFA, his FIFA card, like seventy nine times by eighty four. He was like, okay, yeah. Like, wow. He is giving me company vibes as well. Mm. He's also playing right back at the minute, so it's a bit. Yeah. But yeah, I love him. He's. He's really been good. incredible. Yeah. There was, I saw some stat and I don't know if, if it was Copenhagen happened the other night, but the stat was from before, but there was a stat that said Akanji and Diaz, no one had got past, past them. them yeah. No one dribbled past them. It's just mental how easily he's just slotted in. Yeah. And yeah, he's a really, really smart guy as well. So definitely. Okay. Love that. Uh, let's do the Xbox Series X. So the new Xbox. I really like that console. I have one. I haven't. Used I it too really, much. really. I I've got one as well. I got sent that by mm. Xbox, which was again sick. Same sick. Um, I really, really like it. I'm gonna say, someone who doesn't get the credit they you, they they deserve as much. I'm gonna say Nathan Ake. Okay, I like him because he's so so good. Like mm. I don't care what anyone says, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. Yeah, he's unbelievable. Maybe Rodri as well, actually, because they're both very, very good mm. and yeah, sick. Okay, next is the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5's go with. I really like it. Great console. I don't think it's at the levels of Aguero. and You know what? It's got massive potential, the PlayStation 5. So who are you picking? Cole Palmer and Phil I thought Foden. you'd pick Haaland. I'm sh- I, I was Foden. certain you would pick Haaland. Just, yeah, Haaland's probably in that as well, to be fair. But he's, he's <clears throat> just a robot, isn't he? So Cole Palmer and who? Foden. Okay. Massive, massive potential. Mm-hmm. But it is, but already good. Yeah, already good. Yeah. Who would you pick for that? I was going to say Haaland, yeah. that new model. Everyone wants yeah. it, but they can't. Thing is, get he's a it. robot. You can't like that guy's just not yeah. human. Like you can't compare. He's him like to a, P- a gaming he's PC compl- or something. Yeah, massively, <laughs> yeah. fully. You know fully. them like massive gaming pieces with all the colors that like. <laughs> with literally like everything on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just you can keep it on. And like ten forever. monitors. <laughs> That's yeah. him. That's definitely Haaland. <laughs> yeah. PS5 is good though, I like it. PS5 is a good console. Right, well, that's all of the ones I have. Actually, let's do one more because I want to do the Sega Mega Drive, which is my <laughs> yeah. first console. Yeah. Sonic, classic game. Yeah, that was like goaded. Mm-hmm. Sean Ryan Phillips, isn't it? Oh, I love Sean I Ryan Phillips. I love that guy. Like, he has no, you know, when I'm filming with him, mm-hmm. he has no idea that, like, when he left for Chelsea, I cried. Have you I not swear. told him? No, I'm not telling him that. Well, like, you've told me the piece well, of information. Yeah, but he won't. <laughs> like, yeah, but honestly, like, and yeah, he's just class, isn't he? Sean Wright Phillips made every City fan who's our age, his childhood, he was just mm-hmm. unbelievable. And his brother played for us as well, Bradley, which was pretty cool as well. Yeah. Bradley Wright Wright. But yeah, Sean Wright <laughs> Phillips, what a guy. Love that. Um, but he would, like, I would love to watch him play for City now, even now, that's why. And I'd probably love They should to get a City veterans team together. <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon we'd get, like, we'd get minutes in the opposition or something? Oh, I don't know. They wouldn't want me on the pitch. I'm on the same. Oh, you're probably better than me. I'm, I'll do all the commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, FG, for no, joining me. Thank you me. for having me. I appreciate it. It's been a great time. Everyone can find you on Twitch yeah. and everything. Yeah. City, Match Day Live. Hopefully we'll be doing some more videos together because the photography one was really fun. Yeah. And I'm going to win the next one. Well, wait until they get you on the inflatables because I did that last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's I, it was, safe It was 9 a.m. Yeah. January. It was snowing. <laughs> and I was there uh, doing kids' inflatables. Yeah, so, I don't know if it's times. safe for me. So it's 300 inflatable. Yeah, just give us a few months. So I did, I did one it. round. You know what's funny is I did one round, right? And it was proper like running up and like doing all the thing. I slid down and was like there out of breath on the microphone as like three kids just shot past me like, yeah. let's do it again. And I'm there like... Yeah, it's so hard. It's <laughs> yeah. so difficult. Yeah, it's not safe for me to do that. Don't get any ideas. I know. Right, well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Um, you're it. always welcome back. And thank you, everyone, for listening as well. See you next time. <laughs>